here was good back pack gang 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 i'm gonna try to go quick through this this is a lot of information man so y'all so first off keep up on everything be 2k1 and curve and blah 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 next gen court side report number three let's get right into this read more all right hi again 2k fans Welcome to my final courtside report. Oh, final. Yes, sir. We're just a few weeks away before next pl new players can get their hands on the next gen of NBA 2K21, which will be released November 10th for Xbox Series X and S and November 12th for PS5. Suck on that, PS5. But we ain't going to get on to the end of that. We discussed a lot, a lot already for scoring a revolution. It's in the a great hand, but they brought together gameplay. But I know you're like, you know, I find I was new with my play. Well, I was curious if I push the simulation to the future with this ball for you. All right, there's going to be a lot of info to digest this week. So I try to keep the points as concise as I can. All right, let's get into this meat. I mean, pause. Let's get into this, fellas. It's one take, so I ain't adding nothing, so let's get it. Player builds, badges, and, and takeover. The next gen my player build is all about customization. We're taking in a lot of feedback, blah, blah. One thing that we hear loud and clear from you, that you want more options. Here's the response. Okay. No more pies. Hmm. You're no longer choosing pies. We give you a control over setting each individual rating to the cap that you prefer. Obviously, there are restrictions based on your vitals, and you can't max out everything, but there's much more control to make the exact type of player you want to be. So no more red-green pie charts. I don't know how you're going to explain your build this year. You, you This year, you could be like, yeah, I made a red-green pie chart, and I put this on, put that on. This year, you're going to be like, bro, how you make your build? Shit. <laughs> Ninja, I don't know. But, hey, Bumper, you just going to see what he could do on the court. So, long story short, everybody going to have their own unique player build this year unless you following YouTubers and how they make their build. But I promise you, nine times out of ten, making the YouTuber build, yeah, the build's going to be good, but it's not going to be the perfect build for you, especially this year more than ever, bro. So stop copying these YouTuber builds. You might can get an idea about what, what you want your stuff to cap out. But everybody play style is different. You don't play like Ticino. You watching this video right now. You don't play like Ticino. You can't just go make a Ticino build and think you're going to do what Ticino do. So just keep that in mind. But let's get right into it. Badges. A lot of thought and redesign went into the badges for next gen. Some favorites return. Others are removed. The badge point system equipment process is similar. Equipping. Oh, equipping. Equipping process is custom what you, you know what I'm saying? Finish and shoot, defense, rebound, and playmaking. Any mode to earn badge points and then apply those. Okay. Vice, my, my advice when you would get next gen is to experiment with different badges because it's a lot of badges that complement your play style that you might be overlooking. So here are some of the badges, y'all. Fearless finisher, boost contact layups, and decreases fatigue. So that's the new relentless finisher. Also, contact layup. I mean, contact finisher in one. Okay. Heat seeker, boost takeover progress on inside shots. All y'all inside builds that I hate go crazy. Highlight film boost. Okay. Boost hook shot. I'll oh, take this out. We do not need the Zen guys back with the hooks. Please. Please, God. Revive posterizer. Contact dunks. Like what? Boost ability to do standing dunks in traffic. Insides go crazy. Anti freeze. Harder to get cold and lose takeover meter progress. Bums, neat, get that. I, I ain't gonna lie, you're gonna need it. Less affected by blinders, air, all my Krabby Patty guys. Yes, sir, get you some blinders, my my boy. Circus 3, that's the new Dead Eye? Or is that, it says peripheral. Peripheral? So, from the sides? So, what about straight on? I, don't see, I ain't seen a Dead Eye, to be honest. Fade Ace, boost all posts, fade away. Oh my god. Zen Gods return. Zen, Zen God 2 t 21 Zen K. Deep threes. Dame and Curry range balls. I mean, hold on, pause. All right, so that's a new limitless, I guess. Rhythm shooter, boost shot percents out of size of as well as one step pull up. Ticino's a god this year. I'm going to have rhythm shooter, I'm going to be honest. It ain't steady shooter, y'all. It's rhythm shooter. Set shooter. Shooting ability gets better the longer you set and wait before pulling. That won't be me. I'm not a spot up. Boost the ability to hit shots when using pro stick aiming. Zen K21 next gen. Next Zen alert. 
Stopping pot three for JJ Reddix. Okay, stage heads have at it. Bullet pass to get you the ability to throw laser dots like LeBron. That's me right there. I really, I love Kobe. That's my favorite player, but my play style on 2K is LeBron. I don't understand. I don't like it, but I'm just not a scorer like that. I ain't gonna say I'm not a scorer like that. I'd rather pass than score. Put it that way. Relay pass to boost the shot shooter on pass to assist situation. Oh, that's GOAT. That's that's goat right there. I ain't gonna lie. The pass to assist, they going the shooter gets a boost. A lot of y'all nine shooters finding a guy with relay passer on, bro. Special delivery boost to go progress for the passer and receiver off of a flashy pass assist. That's new. Ankle braces, please put this badge on, y'all. If your defense trash, please put this badge on. I don't want to hear nothing about your ankles broke and you can't do nothing about it now. Oh my god, my ankle broke, mother. Put on ankle braces. Put it on. Clutch defender. Boost your defensive rating. Oh, my God. I ain't going to lie. This badge right here might be old peasy. No cap. That a clutch defender? Like, bro, everybody that, that getting bust down, 18, that we playing three up, and you playing, yeah, you know what I'm saying. You playing three up, 18, 18. Maybe this will make y'all trash got actually contest and get a stop because a lot of y'all just gonna be like oh my god I, I tried i jumped i was there mother no you wasn't there that's why he made the shot but let's keep going hot stopper boost takeover meter for good defensive plays like still blocks and good contest i guess this is the new like rim protector in in a way i don't, I don't know but i like it it's we reward and defense they 2k Never gives you like many badges that actually reward defense. Pickpocket don't work. Interceptor don't work. Well, I ain't gonna say it don't work. It's just like you can't tell the difference from different badge levels. Like I have a Hall of Fame pickpocket and damn near get the same amount of steals as somebody with silver. But next, they are right, these are the badges they retired because they didn't fit the design, blah blah. Consistent finisher, gone. Contact finisher, out of there. Cross key score, dropped. Fancy footwork, done for. Fast break finisher, it's out of there. Deep hooks, gone. Pick and roller, halted. Relentless finisher, kicked out. Showtime, smacked. Deep fades, dropped. Festival release, hot star, pick pop, pump, fake maestro, good. Nobody ever used pump fake maestro. I put that on everything. Range extender, range extender. Quick draw, steady shooter, pass fake maestro, flashy passer, law city passer, la 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 la. Alright. New graphics, I like it. Takeover. In case you're new to 2K, takeover's ability to get hot and take over games, but a popular feature. Okay, instead of limit plays the eight general archetype, we broken them down into eight into twenty-four more specific takeover abilities. In a way you can think of them as unique badges that you can fire off when you get hot. Okay. Hold on, what's this? So he goes from that to this. Advanced gathers. I, I guess these are the names of the the takeovers. So there's an advanced gathers takeover. I guess that's a part of the slashing. A lot more effective spin euro hop step cradle gathers. Mm, I won't be using that. I mean, I ain't gonna lie, that's gonna slide you by the defense. Uh, able to absorb contact and finish at the rim. So, how many of these can you pick? Oh, you get two. It says you get a primary and you get a secondary. So, easy blow bys. Y'all comment below which one of these you think you might use, bro. I don't know. Advanced gathers, a lot more spins and all that. Uh, finishing moves, okay. Easy blow by the easy enhances abilities for slashers to blah 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 blow by defenders on off the dribble pull up precision boost well time aim shots off the dribble ankle breaking shots more ankle breakers off spin and step backs okay that's track career reduces defensive impact against pull ups and other skill shots so that's like a super dead eye limitless range extends your shooting range out to the logos damn. Spot up precision, boost well time, slash aim stationary jump shots. Team ratings boost. Okay, this is the playmaking part. Playmakers boost their teammates' offensive ratings. Team takeover boost. Boost your teammates' takeover meter progress. Team badge boost. Boost your teammates' badges up a tier. 
Oh, shit. Part of my friends. It puts everybody badges up a tier? Hey, right, for team players, I ain't gonna lie. This, that's gonna be overpowered. If you a team player, you, you yeah. Yeah. Extreme clamps, more stonewall and law. Knock shooting badges down a tier when you get close. Boost your ability to contest jumpers. Unlocks more SWAT. Bro, you're going to have a lot to think about this year, bro. You got to pick two of these. Boost your ability to affect shots around the rim. Drops opposition scoring badges down the tier in the paint. Box out wall. See where missed shots. See the future. Glass clean, every room, kick out passes, boost your teammates shooting. Oh, that's dope. Easier to push defenders around, blah, blah, blah. Easier to beat defenders with post moves. Woo. Boost your teammates offensive. Easier to push. Increased scoring ability with hooks. Oh, 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 oh no. <laughs> Not post shot daggers, man. Multi-tier assist. And once you set up your rating cast, the body will be presented with a subset of the list above based on them. So pretty much, you choose a primary and you choose a secondary. Or you can double up. Like, they put like a, a arc 18 archetype system for your takeover. Like, dang, they doing the most. So you can double up or you can put a primary and a secondary out of all of those that I looked through. Once filled, you can choose to activate it right away or wait to try and fill up your secondary. Okay. So instead of team takeover... You actually wait and fill it up, and you're going to hit the secondary. But if you can fill in your secondary slot, you can activate both the primary and secondary and keep them active for long. Okay. Hey, team takeover, you got to fill up three bars of takeover? Man, imagine doing that in a park game. God dang, you got to be a locker or a, a, a damn center for that. Because you got to fill up three bars. Last thing I wanted to mention about TakeOver, we want to honor our friend Kobe Bryant, who we tragically lost way too early this year. When you've earned all your bad points, you will see the Mamba mentality badge. I got to get this. It allows you to change your TakeOvers whenever you want. So just like Kobe, you can, when you've earned all your badge points. Okay. I like that. Because there's too many takeovers to go by. You don't know what you want to use from game to game. And it's not going to be overpowered because it's not like it's just like one takeover is everything. Like it's a primary, secondary. It's broke down so much. Next gen AI. Next gen was an opportunity to reset on a lot of games. This was a special shooting came to AI. Some of these items are... Increasingly noticeable that some are more nuanced with hardcore as old, but one thing is certain NBA continues to lead the way in accurately modeling his respect for better than anyone else. That's something we pride ourselves in and know that the truth. Man, I thought they were going to tell us about AIs in the park. Are they going to be dirt? Are they going to be good? Or is at least the AIs on your team going to be good in my career? I don't know. Because my teammates, man, unless you... Man, I ain't going to lie. They don't play like they're supposed to. This year is probably like one of the best years for the teammate AI in my career, though. But they still trash. LeBron is not LeBron. Kyrie is not Kyrie unless they playing against you. New switching logic, both all ball and off ball. Okay. Man, I don't feel like reading all this. If you want to read this part, you can read this. I'm just here for the part gameplay. Then you can call for you can call for help. Defense by holding that one. Computers taking charges now? Oh, God. I'm going to hate to see that in the park. Next gen game plan. This is a great new feature that allows players and AI to have more specific game plays for their team. Cats fighting. Shut up, cat. Play through star. All right, I'm not reading this. I'm going to be honest. Um. So this is pretty much calling plays. New pick and roll spacing. Closing thoughts. As I stated, NBA 2K21 current gen, a few weeks there's been a roller coaster year with the changes, having to work from the home coach edition, having to roll out both current and next. Y'all amazed at the talent and grip. Thanks again to everybody coming together. Y'all did this, the best basketball game ever, the grace of console. I doubt that I'll be working the Texans title every day. And I still can't believe I get to boot this game up. I hope. 
This is a glimpse of the awesome thing. We hope to continue to refine 2K and take it forward in the gameplay blogs. Even if you haven't been a little excited for 2K Next Gen, just wait. We have a lot of news coming soon. All right. So, there it is. There you have it. The talking main key point. One double takeover system with a 24 different options for takeover. So, that breaks down to four different ones for... No, three different options for each playmaking and all that takeover. So you got three like three different options for each. Uh new archetype system. Everything about the archetype system is revamped except the shooting, defense, playmaking, finishing sections. What else? Um Um New Badges. Plenty of new badges. I hope you enjoy it. But anyway, I'm going to get on out of here. I hope y'all ain't hear too much in the background. I hope you heard my voice pretty well. But I'm excited to bring y'all this news. And let's get right out of here. New video coming tomorrow. Maybe a stream tonight. Trying to get on this Among Us. Y'all let me know if you made it this far in the video. Um, just say I made it this far in the video. Family. And I'll send y'all a little gift or something. But it's back. Gang. And we out, man.